this is my second time uh, in Indonesia, in, in Jakarta. I was here two years ago. I wasn't here for more than 12 hours, and it looks like today is going to be almost the same thing. So I don't get to see much but the airport, the traffic, the hotel, the venue, back to the hotel, back to traffic, and back to the airport. So hopefully one day I'll be able to come here and actually enjoy what Jakarta is all about, or Indonesia. Although I'm going to Bali tomorrow. I've only experienced the Indonesian dance scene uh, two years ago and I was very impressed. I, it was really good. It was a really big indoor event, an uh, indoor festival. And it was, you know, like a few thousand people. So um, I was very surprised by, by what I saw and by the reception that I got. So I'm excited to be here again. Winning the Grammy didn't change anything for my DJ career because I've been DJing since I'm 13 years old. So. Um, the Grammy for me has nothing to do with me being a DJ, the Grammy has more to do with me being a remixer and a producer, so it really did, didn't change anything for me as, as a DJ. Um, I don't think anything can change me from being a DJ. No award ever in the world would change that. <laughs> I really don't care about a DJ ranking. I think it's so... First of all, who is voting? That's number one, because it's not really the world as you think it's the world. Um, ranking means absolutely nothing, you know. Um, I've been, music for me, DJing was a hobby, it was a lifestyle. Uh, so it's, it's not like I decided to one day become a DJ like many people and because of the technology to me, no. I became a DJ because I enjoyed music and I was a DJ before there was even two turntables and a mixer out. So we're going back to the origins of DJing. Let's go back to the 70s. I've been playing for 35 years. So as far as a DJ ranking, I really could care less what a DJ ranking is because as far as I'm concerned, I love what I do. Music, DJing is not a competition. It's, it, it, it's something to enjoy. And about DJing, it's about making people happy, making people dance. So one guy gets to mix a little better. Wow, great. So one guy is a little more pop popular. It doesn't make him any better than the next guy because there are some really bad, horrible DJs, if I'm going to, to make a judgment call, that are horrible that I can easily say, wow, I'm better than that DJ. But it's not about being better. You know, it's about popular and better is really two different things. There's no such thing as better because better you know, we can get into a whole topic, but, you know, to answer your question, I really don't care about rankings. I think, I think it's bogus. Uh, my next project in 2011 is to stay alive. No, um, <laughs> I'm working on a new album. I'm sorry, I like to be a little funny. Um, I'm actually working on a new project, a new album that's coming out on Ultra Records. Uh, I had a single out in um, this past summer called I Make You Gaga. And so my future album, I'm going to have Ocho Nete, um, Janice Robinson, a couple of, uh, of new artists, Tamara Keenan, that was on my last album. And I'll be working on some other projects as well, not just my own. So look out, because here I come. You know, I mean, I've been having getting tattoos since I'm 21 years old. And I started with something small that doesn't uh, exist anymore. I have a big cross on my back um, that I really got it done in memory of, in honor of the Pope, the last Pope, not the one we have now. And he was a great man, so um, that, and of course, you know, um, I have some things on tattoos from a club, tattoos from a friend of mine that passed away. This is the bad arm. This is my girl, this is the good arm, obviously. When it's not, when it's, you know, and I have, I think I'm finished for now. My last tattoo was this one. And yes, it hurt. And it means... <laughs> I always say it means bullshit, mother. <laughs> but it means... <laughs> body... <laughs> it means body, soul, and mind. Hi, my name is David Morales, and I love DanceSignal.com.